In this problem, we have a linear equation, and we're being asked to come up with a solution to it. That is, uh, uh, an ordered pair, an x value and a y value, that satisfies that equation. And there are a lot of possible answers uh, to this problem. In fact, there's an infinite number of answers in this case. Uh, so all we need to do is choose any value for x and figure out what y is. So when I'm allowed to choose any value I want for x, 0 is the first thing that pops to mind because when you're multiplying, 0 is an easy number to deal with. So if I put in 0 for x here, this would be 5 times 0. Minus y equals 4. Well, 5 times 0 is just 0, so I don't even have to pay attention to that. I can just write this equation as minus y equals 4. have to be careful about this minus sign not to forget about that. Um, because y does not equal 4, we have negative y equals 4. If I divide both sides by a negative 1, then this negative sign will go away, and I'll get y equals, well, 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. So really, we're just swapping the signs around. Uh, but that's our value, y equals negative 4. So our solution here is x is 0, and y is negative 4. That is an ordered pair that satisfies this equation, so we say it's a solution to the equation.